This was a very average trip to the Goodwill bins until I saw it across the room and I had to run to it. What's going on everybody? This is Brendan, the channel is Dad Planet. I am the One Man Show. I am taking you to the bins for the last time in 2022. And it was a very average trip until I found this piece and its components and it turned out to be worth a lot of money. Stay tuned. Basically all of America right now is just getting pummeled with frigid temperatures. I see even as of the time of this recording, it was 13 degrees in Dallas. Hey, shout out to all you people in Texas. If you are surviving, I'm here for you. I know you're not used to that type of weather and we're getting hit pretty hard here. It is currently something like negative 33 below with the wind chill, but this was filmed on a day where the weather was okay. It was just a couple of days ago, so I was able to get some footage in. I'm just surveying the scene here and we're gonna start digging. So hope everyone is doing okay and uh, surviving this frigid air uh, blanketing much of the United States, with the exception of Miami. I think it's 70 degrees in Miami right now. So would be nice to be there. I think the West Coast is doing a little bit better, but uh, yeah, hope everyone is doing all right and we get through. So first thing I find here, a great brand, obviously, Lululemon. This is a mesh flow sports bra. It's probably only fifteen dollars. I don't see the I don't see comparables that are really that exciting. I guess price wise, but I love Lululemon as a brand. And January, everybody should be focused on the um, getting into shape niche and fitness. And you know, a top like that probably lends itself to that um, that area. So start sourcing those things now. All things fitness related, Lululemon, Viore, all great brands here. This was an homage ski club sweatshirt that really didn't, I didn't, I wasn't satisfied with the comparables. I had to go into Terapeak to find any solds, but like maybe $10, $15. So I'm just going to leave that one behind. I do, however, find a lot of homage, homage items that you will see in this video. Some that I got on camera, some that I did not get on camera. So that's coming up here in just a little bit. It's a Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey t-shirt that I thought would have some value. There's actually a lot of these listed, and I really didn't want to compete with that. I mean, even for $10, it's not a single stitched t-shirt, so I'm going to leave that behind. I mean, I may have tasted that stuff once or twice when I was in college, but it sounds pretty disgusting to me at this day and age. But um, as for resale, probably no value there for me, and I wasn't going to deal with it. So got lucky here and found a brand new with tags pair of Trekkie shorts from Athleta. They are women's size 12 here, brand new with tags. I don't know how I'm gonna price these. $20 on the low end, maybe $25 on the high end. Again, for size 12s, I don't see a ton brand new on eBay. So I don't think $25 would be that bad of a price here. That was like a halter top dress by Abercrombie & Fitch. Abercrombie & Fitch, by the way, is headquartered here in my area in the like Columbus, Ohio, New, new Albany area. So if you see a lot of Abercrombie in my videos, um, that's probably the reason. I also pass that brand up often because they have sample sales twice a year here and you can't sell the samples. I've actually been vero on Abercrombie samples that I had listed in my store. This was years ago. So I'm, I'm pretty gun shy when it comes to listing a lot of Abercrombie stuff just because of the area that I'm in and knowing that they have these huge sample sales where those stuff, that stuff technically is not um, like attached to their brand officially with UPC codes. So I avoid a lot of Abercrombie. I'm gonna grab this homage Cleveland Indians Jacobs Field t-shirt. I'll probably get $25 for this. They are no longer the Cleveland Indians. They are now the Cleveland Guardians and Jacobs Field is no longer Jacobs Field. It's Progressive Field, but there's gonna be some nostalgia factored into that sale right there. And so I think $25 is fair. I don't think homage sells any more Cleveland Indians apparel on their website. They've moved everything over to the Guardians. And so that makes that a little bit more scarce, a little bit more in demand for people that are just, they just can't seem to let Chief Wahoo go. You know, I'm kind of one of them, but um, 25 bucks on that one here. Really interesting t-shirt right here, the Disney Vault. I didn't, you see that tag? I've never really seen that before. So a V-neck cropped Mickey Mouse t-shirt says, you know, 15 years, maybe 15 year anniversary or something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure, but a large, in this exact style sold, and I saw it on Terapeak for $60. I saw an extra large sell for maybe around 35 or 40. The comps will be on the screen. I don't remember exactly. But this t-shirt is super clean, super soft. It feels well made. And I don't know if you guys are watching, but crop top everything in the stores right now, it's like all I see. 
So I think from a from style perspective, that's gonna be a big hitter right there. I'm gonna list it for 60 bucks. If that large sold for 60, I don't see any reason why that medium can't also sell for 60. So great find there. And it was like all t-shirts basically this, this trip with the exception of a few of the other items. I thought maybe this would be another vault item here, just a regular Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. It's super cute, but I feel like there's too much of it in the marketplace. There's just so much Disney related apparel, but that vault t-shirt, I feel like that's kind of a home run here. All right, move over to the shoes. I wasn't like that lucky with shoes this trip, but I'm gonna grab these. These are, I think these are free run fly knits. These are great sellers. This exact, if you're looking for the exact colorway and the exact style for this, they're a men's size nine and a half. There are 30 of these currently listed, but 34 have sold in the last 90 days. That's all the data I need to pick these up. I'm actually going to put them in the wash and I'm gonna to touch up the midsoles just a little bit, just a little bit of hot water, rub, rub them down a little bit, get them in better condition. I will show you what they look like towards the end of the video. I like to do that too because um, I throw a lot of my shoes, the vast majority of them in the wash where I can and um, let, the, let the machine do the work for me while I go and do other things. So you can see that I just also picked up, I think it was an Olakai, Maloa. I'm gonna look for the second shoe here. It's for when you're at the bins, it's like forever. You're forever looking for that second shoe. I mean, it, it just it's kind of the way it goes. So that style, the color was like a brown toffee color. They are a men's size 10. I, I find it here coming up here somewhere. There it is. I see it. I see it sitting right there. So this price wise, I was excited to see a lot of them sell for over $50, I've seen them pre-owned in this exact style and there's this exact colorway in the 60, even $70 price range pre-owned, 100 plus brand new easily. I'm not gonna touch them up. I think I'm going to leave them in the condition that they are. I mean, maybe, maybe just do like a once over, maybe not necessarily throw them in the wash, but figure out another way to touch them up a little bit. But I'm also going to list those for $50 just because the comparables are saying that you know, it's um, it's a pretty consistent seller above that price range. So 40 bucks for the fly knits, 50 for that pair of shoes, those Olakais, and I'm finding a lot of them recently for some reason, which um, is pleasing to me because they're great sellers, especially in the uh, spring and summer. So anything else here I don't really see, wasn't really satisfied with. Now, in the thumbnail, you saw a component that goes to this vacuum right here. This is a rainbow vacuum. It's a DC4, D4C, I forget exactly. I'll flip the thing over here in a little bit. Actually, the cord gets stuck, so I'm gonna move this over to another bin. But if you ever see these rainbow vacuums and their components, do your research, because if you're not afraid to, and, and I think that machine right there is about 15 pounds, so it's a little bit on the heavy side. But if you're not afraid to mess with it, and that was D4C if you caught that, if you're not afraid to mess with it, you've got a lot of money right here. So this was a really lucky find. The component that you saw in the thumbnail was broken, so I couldn't take that. But this thing here, if it's working properly, easily $100. And I think I can get $50 to $100 just for the parts that you see in my cart. So we'll sort those to the side here, and then we're gonna take this thing home and get it tested because these are really, really valuable, and they're just, they're well-made. If they're in proper working condition, I was talking, shout out to you, Brittany, we were talking while we were in store here. You have to drop the thing off like a four-story building for it to like really crack and, and break and not work. They're extremely durable. Now I'm exaggerating a little bit, obviously, but they're really well-made and they're still in favor. So let's test that thing when we get home, because if it is working, I've got maybe like a hundred to two hundred dollars in part out value and those parts will still sell quickly. It's not something where you part it out and it's gonna take forever to sell. Those will actually sell really quickly, all of the components combined. So exciting find here. I might have a little stocking stuffer or two right here. I have two little girls at home and uh, you know they are my testers when it comes to these little Littlest pet shop deals or whatever you want to call them. Shop, find a couple, find sh blah, 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 blah. I find a couple of Shopkins. Try to say that three times fast. But um, sometimes I lot these up and throw them on uh, Facebook. But yeah, I have two little testers at home that make sure that those little figures are working properly, and um, I'm thankful for their uh, for their help for that. So looking at the hard goods here, trying to see if anything else catches my eye. A lot of times in this location, when they bring out brand new bins of clothing or shoes, they will also bring out like three brand new bins of hard goods. And so I have to make a decision, where am I gonna go? And so a lot of the times when I'm shopping this 
area. It's already been picked over here. Did I make a mistake leaving these golf clubs behind? I didn't do any research on them, so if anybody has any knowledge on them, they say pro staff, and maybe that's Wilson. They just, they looked so beat up. And so I left them behind, but check, look at how lucky I get here. And now, no, I didn't find a million dollar 3DS game, but look at that thing just sitting right at the bottom underneath that, whatever that was, that little DVD or something. So this is Mario Kart 7 3DS. Like it's only, it's probably only $10, but what a lucky find. I finally found a video game. It's been a long time since I searched, searched the hard goods and the fact that this has like kind of been already picked over and ransacked um, makes me feel even better about it. So again, it's not, you know, it's not a $200 game, but it'll sell fast. There's a lot of them on the marketplace and no, I don't have the case or anything, but when I see something like that sitting at the bottom of the bin, the next thing that I'm going to do is just tear through the rest of it to make sure that there aren't a bunch of them that somebody missed or like it fell out of a case or something like that. So unfortunately I didn't find any other games to go with it, but that was one of the fun finds of the day because you don't really expect it after the area has been just uh, as picked over as it was. So that was a nice find here. And I don't know if any of this stuff has any value. As always, I love when you folks say, hey, you may have missed this. It might have had some value there. So always call something out if you see it because everybody is here to learn, myself included. So looking around here, let's survey the scene. I think we're pretty good. So let's take a look at some of the items that I did not catch on film. We're gonna take a look at those shoes and then we're gonna test that rainbow vac. All right, here's a bird's eye view of some of the t-shirts that I did not catch on film. So the first one here is this Daria MTV whatever t-shirt. That's a pretty consistent $10 seller. So that I'm pretty confident will sell quickly. This next one here is a Brooklyn Clothing Company shirt. It says, thank you for nothing. Their denim jackets sell for around $35 that have this exact design. So I have a long sleeve t-shirt here. We're gonna call that $20 as well. I've got a Tupac t-shirt here. Again, that's gonna be $20. And then I think this is an homage, Straight Cash Homie. I think that's for Randy Moss and it's in his like Minnesota Vikings colors. I think we're gonna list that one for $20 as well. It is a 3XL, so it's a pretty good size. Next here, homage, homage, uh, Ohio Tank. I sell like one or two of these every year and I always find them at the bins. They're a very consistent seller on eBay. I could sell them locally, but I, I have good success selling them on eBay, so I'm not gonna change that. Next here, this Arnold Classic. This is also a very consistent seller for me. It's not the first time I've ever found it. It's gonna sell for $20. I think same thing for this Incubus. This was a collaboration with PacSun, so I think it was a PacSun online exclusive. They have it on their site right now for $28, so I think listing it for $20 on eBay is probably fair, and I'll charge shipping for all of these, of course. And then the last one, another homage, Slimer Ghostbusters shirt, which is pretty cool as well. I think. These are listed for maybe $25 to $30 on their website right now. So again, $20 for, for me on eBay, and hopefully I can uh, move it pretty quickly. Not everybody always checks to see if you can get the item from the actual distributor or manufacturer. Some people just like shopping on eBay and uh, they'll be happy to pay the same price just to get it there. I wanna show you the um, Nike shoes that I cleaned up really quickly, and then we're gonna test that rainbow vacuum. So these have now been through the wash. And all I did, like I said, was just kind of wipe with a little bit of elbow grease the midsoles to make them come out a little bit whiter. I didn't spend a ton of time on it. That's why I like these. They're just really easy to kind of wipe down, but they came out looking really, really nice. I didn't touch the bottoms, so outside of going through the washing machine, they are in the exact same condition as they were when I sourced them, but the midsoles look a lot nicer and they're just in generally better condition having been through the wash and having me wipe down those midsoles a little bit. So they're looking pretty nice. Before I power this up, I wanna show you the price I paid for it. This was like on the heavy side. And so I feel like, I don't know, maybe they were in like the holiday giving season cause they only charged me $1.99 for it. Can you believe that? Now I kept the like components in my cart and it's pay by the pound. So I wasn't really worried after being charged a buck 99 for this item that I know I'm gonna sell for a hundred dollars. I was not in any way concerned with trying to get the rest of it for that price. So I paid by the pound for that, but what a deal I got on this bad boy for $1.99. So I've got it plugged in here. Now I'm just going to flip it on real quick. And you can clearly see how powerful these things are and just i guess by seeing it spin and hearing it work how highly regarded these are and, and it's the reason why 
they're still in such favor. They're just remarkably well made. And this thing is in perfect working condition. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. And I know because I've sold many of these before that this is a hundred bucks and I will charge shipping and I will get that price. I spent $26.36 that trip to the bins. That includes the buck 99 I paid for the rainbow vacuum and my total listed value for everything in this video comes to $540. It all adds up. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you like what you saw or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it. That is all I have for you. Happy holidays for those of you that are currently celebrating and we'll soon be celebrating and happy belated holidays if you're catching this after the holiday season. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.